Vancouver Island, world-class black bears, and hunting with my buddy Darren DeLuca, owner of Vancouver Island Guide Outfitters. It's a great combination that usually ends with a trip to the taxidermist. Yeah, I bet that's Joe. Yeah, nice rig. Curse wanted to meet Joe, knew he was a, you know, a famous NFLer, and uh, really looked forward to having Joe here. Guys, how you doing? Hey, you must be Joe? I am. Gordy Cron. Gordy, how is everything? Good, good. How'd you like to ride up? Beautiful. beautiful. Darren DeLuca. Darren, Joe. Pleasure to, to meet, meet you. you. Glad you found us. Yeah, it was a beautiful place. Beautiful. I don't want to say I'm here as a babysitter, but we did bring a guest along this time. Joe Jerevicious, great guy. Joe and I actually got a lot in common. I mean, first of all, it's very obvious. We're both chiseled athletes. All right. I'll test my arm out. Did you get that? Did we get that? Watch that hamstring we talked about. <laughs> and we both have a passion for hunting black bears. I mean, that's the obvious part. The part that's not so obvious is we've got a common descent. We're both Lithuanians. And I can tell you, when you turn a couple little Lithuanian guys loose in the woods after bears, some <laughs> gonna die. Hi, I'm Lance. Lance Joe. I feel very fortunate to make a career uh, out of football. I got to play with some of the greatest guys, you know, that have played the game. I played wide receiver in the National Football League for 11 years. Played in three Super Bowls. A lot of dreams came true because of football. And uh, the most important things are I stuck around for a long time, made a career. But, man, winning a Super Bowl was really icing on the cake. I actually got involved in hunting uh, through Kerry Collins, uh, you know, Penn State Kerry Collins, 16-year NFL veteran quarterback, and uh, I remember getting dressed up in his camo and sitting about 20 feet in a tree stand and a, a doe walking right underneath me, and I was hooked. You know, it's actually fun hunting with three guys. You get a lot of camaraderie. You got an extra set of eyes. In, in Joe's case, you got a strong back if you got a hump of bear out of there. And I got my bear last fall, so I thought we're going to put uh, we're going to put Joe up to bat first. Guys, I'm not a bear guide like Darren, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express. This is good fresh bear sign. That is a fact. Good job. <laughs> we went back and hunted areas where there was salmon in the, in the rivers in the fall. The thinking behind that was that the bears are, are going to be populated in those little uh, box canyons and back valleys and uh, hibernating up in the hills so they'd be there in the spring. We saw again a lot of boar sign. That's really what we're focusing on at this time of the year. Just real recent, right? Maybe the last day or so. It's June, it's breeding season. So you're really looking for uh, lone sows, hot sows. They're gonna pull a boar out and also a boar marking his territory, busting branches, breaking trees, that kind of thing. Darren always has a plan. That's a good thing when you're an outfitter to have a plan. And the plan is based around the bears that they've been seeing throughout the season. And the first day out, we were seeing a lot of sign. Everything was there except the boar. It just wasn't happening. Um, there just didn't seem to be the bears around. So we decided to pick up and move for the afternoon. You know, Darren uh, presented me an opportunity to uh, go and talk to some kids in town uh, about the game of football. Some guys that play here at the school level and. I couldn't pass the opportunity up. Your hands up, you boom, rip, pull, get right on top. Keep your hands up in here just for it. It's easy for somebody to do that. Football's been really good for me, guys. And the only thing I can tell you in all honesty is um, whatever you want from the game, whether it's hockey, whether it's football, whether it's, you know, being a teacher, anything you guys want to do, I'm telling you, the only ratio, the only mix, mixture for success is literally just working hard. We hiked up into a clear cut, perfect setup. We could see a lot of territory. There was a lot of sign, felt really good about the spot. And we sat in there for, I don't know, two or three hours. We worked pretty hard in that corner. We, you know, we hung in there a long time and finally decided, let's get out of here. Let's, let's move around a little bit. We'll come back in later on. We get back in the truck. I think we drove maybe around the bend of the road. Hold it, hold it, bear. The bear was w w walking and marking his territory. It was quite a pursuit. Look at that Joey just nailed his tree rip there. Ah. 
Got him. Down, man. You got hey, him, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Nice job. I appreciate it. Thank hey, the boy you. from Cleveland got himself thank a bear. <laughs> Good job. You know, the excitement was there. It reminded me a lot of on Sunday afternoons when we would hear a, from our coach, see a Wednesday, meaning we were off on Monday, Tuesday. There was always a lot of celebration in the locker room. And I could tell you it was, it, it was pretty equivalent. There was nothing to do but kind of spike the ball and celebrate the touchdown because uh, we had a Vancouver Island bear on the ground. Coming up next, tickle, kiss, and sniff. Plus, toss away the donut. You're watching North American Hunter.